Burnout Racers has a template scene for player vehicles used in the game. This scene can be used to create and manage your all player vehicles. Simply drag and drop your vehicle model or prefab to the scene to get started. This model has proper axes and pivot positions and definitely suitable for RCCP. Let's add the main controller to the vehicle by simply selecting root of the game object and adding the main controller to it. I'll be using the quick wizard panel. All I need to do is selecting the front wheel models and read wheel models. After that, we need a proper collider for our vehicle. This prefab has a collider already. I don't need to add it again. I'm going to use almost all features of the RCCP, selecting all modular components here. And we're almost there. We need to create a prefab of our vehicle and select it in the player vehicles list. Our prefab will be stored here. And finally, adding the prefab to the player vehicles list. We can put a price on it and change its order if necessary. We can test drive our vehicle now. Here it is. As you can notice, all customization buttons turn disabled for this vehicle because our vehicle doesn't have customizer component yet. Therefore, all customization features are disabled for this vehicle. However, we can still use it. Let's add customizers, lights, exhausts, cameras, and other features to our vehicle. Adding customizers now. Customization component has sub-managers to handle spoilers, sirens, wheels, paints, decals, and neon. Simply clicking the create button to create and initialize them. Upgrades have maximum multiplier value. It's 1.2 by default. You can change it on if you want. All you need to do is selecting the target material for painting. Be sure to pick right keyword. This material is using URP Lit Shader. All usable wheels are located here. Wheels are just prefabs. RCCP will do the rest.
The player manager component will inform us if any important feature is missing in our vehicle. Also, you can take quick actions to change engine torque, handling, speed, and brake of the vehicle easily. Don't forget to save the changes to the prefab after making changes on it. We had an error on our console when we test drive the vehicle. It's because our vehicle model is not readable and writable, selecting the vehicle model and enabling the read-write option. Now we can select specific meshes to deform. We don't need to deform colliders, wheels, and interior meshes, simply excluding them. And now our vehicle has been saved and ready to use in the game.